Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Financial Accounting 3A, and I'm Yamazawa Wellington. Uh, in my contact details, yeah, we are going through consolidation of partial owned subsidiary from Zoho Module BA CC204 Module. Okay, uh, Unit 3. This is a uh, presentation number two of uh, Unit 3. Just to assist us during this. Uh, lockdown when we could not meet okay i hope this will help you tremendously okay let's go to our consolidation procedures we pick out from where we last from presentation one example 3.1 we now go on to further sections on page 50. assume that in example 3.1 each limited purchase 75 percent of shares of the shares in S Limited for 140 on 1 October 2010, when its retained earnings were 10,000 and the general reserves stood at what? At 18,000. There has been no change in the share premium since acquisition. The summarized statement of financial position of S Limited on 1 January 2011 was as follows. Okay? I have just got the statement of financial position. Okay? The general reserves uh, on 1 January 2011 are now 25,000. From eighteen thousand, from eighteen thousand on one October twenty ten, and the retained earnings now stood at fifteen thousand from ten thousand on one October twenty ten. Okay, right. Yeah, you can check our, our balance sheet on page forty nine. Okay, yeah. Then required show the analysis of equity as at one January twenty eleven. Uh, this is our analysis. We just draw the analysis of EBIT uh, as the, the example I gave you on the first presentation. Okay, the share capital is 100. We are given and uh, the share premium 40,000. The general reserve we take on the date of acquisition, which was 18,000, not the 25,000 on the day to a full statement of financial position in the retained earnings on that date was 10,000 not to take the 15,000 on the date of financial position okay so the total is 168 and the 75 uh, percent for age limited is 126 NCI 25 percent 42 okay NCI measured the proportion of what of net assets 40 25 percent of 168,000 to get 42,000 and the consideration were given it was purchased for 140,000, okay? So we paid more by 14,000. So the 14,000 represent equity, goodwill, okay? It represent what? Goodwill, okay? Don't put underlinings here on this total because we are still going to add some since acquisition reserves, okay? Then the general reserves is increased from 18,000 to 25,000. So here we just take the increase because the um, 18,000 has already been accounted for, okay? So the 7,000, then the general reserve under since acquisition, we put it under since acquisition, not at acquisition because it's now since after the acquisition date, okay? So it's a 5250 and NCIE 1750. Then the return earnings increased from 10 to 15, so the difference is five. They are located here, okay? So there are important figures here. The totals will totalize 42,000 plus 1750 plus 1250 to get the 45,000. Okay. Then the retained earnings since acquisition is said the state 750 and the general reserve since acquisition is 5250. Okay. Uh, that's the analysis of what? Of our equity. We now move on to example 3.2. We, we just want to look at three scenarios. One, uh, the subsidiary is acquired at goodwill. Then the second scenario, it is acquired at what? It is gain on by gain purchase or negative goodwill. Then the third scenario, uh, they are since acquisition reserves. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on to the balance sheet. Okay. This is the balance sheet we are at. We are given. Okay. Uh, let's move on to scenario one. 
H Limited purchased 90% of the shares in S Limited for 80,001 on 31 December 2011. Okay, showed the analysis of equity and draw up the consolidated statement of financial position. Okay, so the statement of financial position we are given above is on what on 31 December 2011, and the, the shares were purchased on what on the same date. So it's the acquisition eight the date of acquisition okay it's going it's a consolidation as the date of acquisition okay required show the analysis of equity and draw the up the st consolidated statement of financial position on that date that is still on december 2011 the day we are given the financial financials okay let's do our analysis of equity the share capital is 50, share premium 80, the general reserve 9, attend earnings 5,000. Okay, the statement of financial position was on, on what? On 31 December 2011. That is what we are given, and that was the date of what? Of uh, acquisition. So the reserves are the one we are going to take because it was what? On the date of acquisition. Okay, we we'll get 82, that is the net equity, and the 90% of uh, H. Is 73,810% of uh, NCI is 8,200. 8, so remember here the percentage to put the percentage they will aid you in making what calculation of this what of this analysis. Okay, so the consideration paid was 80,000. We are given and the net worth of the 90% portion was 73,800 and we have paid more. By six thousand two hundred. So the six thousand two hundred is the equity represented by goodwill. So we recognize goodwill here. So there are important figures here: goodwill six thousand two hundred and NCI eight thousand two hundred. Okay. Okay. So let's go uh, to the next part. Draw up statement of financial position. Okay. Just simple. This statement of financial position, okay? Right, H Limited Group consolidated statement of financial position is 8, okay? Is 8, 31 December 2011, okay? Assets, we aid the assets of H Limited, the non current assets plus the non current assets of S Limited. So, consolidation of subject is line by line, line item by line item. If they are uh, property plant and equipment on H, we add them, we add together with property and plant and equipment of what? Of S limited line by what? By line item. Then here we are recognizing the goodwill from the analysis of equity. This uh, we recognize goodwill after eliminating the investment in what? In subsidiary. And also we eliminate the equity of the subsidiary. Okay, these are intergroup transactions, we we'll deal with them later. The current assets were going to aid H Limited 127,000 to 25,000 of what? Of H Limited, okay? Then now we are subtracting the 80,000, the cash we used to purchase what? The S Limited, okay? All right, because on the statement of financial position, we're not given the what? The investment in S, in S Limited amount. So it means it has not been what in adjusted, okay? Right, we'll go on to the equity and liability section, okay? We take only the equity of the parent, okay? Only the shake up of the parent. Then for reserves, we only add the the portion of the holding company for since acquisition please take note for since acquisition only okay our nci from the analysis of equity 8.2 okay then to draw equity then on current liability is 4.5 then we are now adding 3000 to 4.5 okay we're just adding the liabilities of h and the liabilities of s that's the group consolidation and this is done for this scenario let's move on other scenario scenario number two H Limited purchased ninety percent of shares in S Limited for six thousand. Okay, required a analysis of equity and draw the statement of financial position in that date. 
in this scenario there's a negative goodwill of uh, 13,800 and the negative goodwill or gain on bargain purchase is uh, credited to the profit or loss and other income okay on gains and it right so this is our analysis of equity i've just taken the net equity from the above analysis it's just the same the figures above the age are just the same so uh it's 73800 that's the portion for what for h limited and the consideration in the nci nci is measured in proportion of net worth as it's 82,000, 10% of each okay then our consideration was 60,000. We have paid less by 13,800. We have bargained when we paid for the shares. Okay. The uh, width was uh, 73,800 and we paid 60,000. Okay. So we've made a gain, we've made a profit there. But before we could recognize this, we need to make sure that the assets are not overvalued. Otherwise, the assets will be overvalued that's why we paid for for this so we need to make sure that they are at their fair values okay so now we're going to balance it there are no good way here but there's what but again we just want to see how it is treated okay here assets just eight h plus s then current assets 127 for h 25 for what for s and we subtract the cash we used to pay what the acquisition of what of s limited shares that's the purchase consideration okay and then this is our total asset then we go on to equity and liabilities okay they are just the same but here on retained earnings now there's this same 0.5 and we are now adding that gain we made when we acquired s limited we made a gain of 13.8 okay Right, and this gain is only for for the parent, okay? Then the total equity, then non-controlling interest shall still the same, then we have our total what equity and liabilities. Current liabilities just add the same as above, okay? Okay, now to third scenario. That's now consolidation after the acquisition date. Right, in this scenario, H Limited purchased 80% of the shares in S Limited for 73,000 on 1 December 2011. On that date, the equity and liability section of S Limited statement of financial position showed the following balances. Ordinary share capital 50,000, share premium account 18,000, general reserve 6,000, 10 earnings 3,000. Required. In analysis of S Limited's equity on 31 December 2011, a consolidated statement of financial position on that date okay so these are the figures we are given what on the acquisition date and our acquisition date is what it's a 1 december 2011 okay so it's 1 december 2011 and the the date of financial position is date 1 december 2011 all right so the financials we are given are after she are after one month okay so they are since what acquisition reserves for one month okay so just want to take note how do we consolidate this okay this is our analysis of equity as we are given we don't take uh, the figures at the balance sheet date but on acquisition date where well, the general they stood at six thousand and retained earnings at three thousand those are the figures we take okay and the total is 77 then 80 percent of these 61 600 and 15400 for 20% NCSJ. Consideration, we're told that we paid 73,000, okay? So we paid more by 11,500. Again, as explained before, goodwill it can be because uh, the company has got a good established name. Just think of, okay, it's a very good brand name. Well, no, okay? So that is uh, some things you'll be paying for and um, a very good workforce, okay? A very good team will be paying for all this, okay? So that you may contribute to this good, okay? So here we'll put our totals, but please don't put underlines here because we still need to add some more things, okay? Then sixth acquisition now. General reserve has increased from 6,000 to 9,000, okay? Put 6,000 here 
on this 3000 under this bracket okay so the difference between 69 and 3000 the general is increased by what by 3000 so we put a, the 80 percent share of 2.4 age limited retained earnings they've increased by by the five thousand by two thousand to five thousand so we put two thousand here in the share of what of NCF one hundred we put our totals here okay All right please take note here that we only put those the those save that have changed here okay and the check capital if it has changed we put it here but there are no changes here for other reserves share premium and share capital okay we're going to draw our statement of financial position right edge limited group consolidated statement of financial position as a 31 december 2011. okay non current assets 1000 plus 60 000 right then we have a goodwill from our analysis of equity 11.4 okay then the current assets of 127 plus 25 from S and we subtract the 73. Okay, we used to acquire what the the shares in subsidiary. Okay, uh, however, under normal circumstances, the balance sheet we are given is of um, 31 December, but there are no adjustment for what for 1 December entries. Okay, so as a 31 December, we should have been given. Like uh, non current asset, 100,000 for H, then investment in S limited, 73,000. Then current assets should have been 127 minus 73, okay? So just because we are creating from some scenarios, there has no been adjustment for on the statement of financial posting, okay? So I just highlighted it so that you know in the future and you do the necessary what corrections and presentation, okay? Let's move on to equity and uh, liability section okay the same day where this major focus is here on general reserves and retained earnings from our analysis of equity since acquisition we now add the 2.4 from our analysis of equity and uh, also the retained earnings 1.6 our share our since acquisition share from S Limited. Okay, we just only add since acquisition, since acquisition reserves here. Okay, and uh, that's that on liabilities, H Limited liability and S Limited liability. This is the balance sheet for the group, and uh, you are now finished for this uh, example 3.2. If, if you have any challenges, kindly get in touch. Okay.